You're watching CBS 3 News at 6, live from Bentleyville. Welcome into Bayfront Festival Park, where the fun is well underway and the holiday spirit is soaring. Right now, you're getting a beautiful look at Bentleyville, which is packed with smiling faces who are embracing the holiday season. Good evening. I'm Kristen Bakke. And I'm Anthony Matt. Thanks for joining us for our live Bentleyville special. Kristen's freezing. I'm not exactly warm. <laughs> but you know what? The holiday spirit really warms you yeah, up. It, it truly it sure does. does. There's yeah. a ton of people here, and we have a lot in store for you tonight, including hearing from volunteers, the Salvation Army, and the mayor of Bentleyville yeah. himself. <laughs> Let's uh, kick this off. We have uh, coverage with Dave Anderson, Kelly Hinsith. They're here to keep us up to date with everything in weather and sports tonight. We'll be checking back with them in just a few minutes here. But first, let's head on over to CBS 3's John Cardinelli, who's in studio with the latest in today's news. John. It was a day of mourning and remembrance as family, friends, and community members honored the life of Bishop Paul Serba. Serba died from a heart attack after suffering from heart health issues for the past few years. He was the ninth bishop for the Diocese of Duluth and was known as someone who understood people and was kind and caring. Serba's own brother, Joseph Serba, spoke at the funeral, describing his brother as humble and humorous. Serba would have celebrated his 10th anniversary as the bishop on December 14th. Following today's mass, Serba was laid to rest at the Calvary Cemetery in Duluth. Father James Bissonette has been chosen as the new administrator for the Duluth Diocese. Spirit Mountain says it's hoping for a financial boost for the city in order to make payroll. During a news conference today, Ski Hill officials detailed their need for $235,000 in funding after the loss from the cancellation of Snowcross. Officials emphasized how important this ski resort is to the city of Duluth and says the city's tourism tax fund is made for situations like this. Spirit Mountain Executive Director says while this funding is necessary, they will do everything in their power to keep the doors open. Spirit Mountain reps say the $235,000 request would last them at least through the holidays. Duluth City Council is expected to vote on the allocation Monday night. Tonight, we are getting a closer look at the site of that fatal helicopter crash to our south. Here is footage showing the wreckage from that crash on a farm in Stearns County. Minnesota Governor Tim Waltz says three National Guard soldiers were killed in the crash on Thursday. They were on a routine maintenance test flight when their Black Hawk helicopter went down. The National Guard Public Affairs Office confirmed that it lost contact with the chopper shortly after it took off from a base near St. Cloud Regional Airport. The identities of the National Guard soldiers have not been released. Authorities are still investigating the cause of the crash. Kristen and Tony, I'm going to send it back to you. All right, thanks, John. Let's head on over to Dave for a quick look at the weather tonight. Dave, couldn't have been a more beautiful day. How are things looking for everybody at Bentleyville here tonight? Well, things are looking all right in Bentleyville tonight. There's a slight chance for snow, but it's the decorative variety you want for an event like this. Nathan Bentley came up with this 15, 20 years ago, grew it out of his backyard to this big, wonderful family thing that's going on now. And bring your family down tonight. Temperatures might be a little bit brisk. And like I mentioned, there's a 40, 50% chance for maybe a half inch worth of snow come tomorrow. It'll be on the cloudier side, but milder than today. We'll jump into the lower 30s. Enjoy that. That warmth while you can because the extended forecast indicates that by about Tuesday next week we're going into the deep freeze low temps below zero daytime highs only in the single digits we'll talk about how long that will last in a few more minutes all right thanks Dave well what was supposed to be one of the busiest weekends of the season for Bentleyville turned into silent nights here in Canal Park 20 inches of snow fell on the holiday light display and filled the walkways leaving a mess and forcing them to close for three nights in a row in addition to snow plows volunteers brought shovels snow blowers and plows down to the holiday light display on Monday one volunteer brought his snow blower from Superior and says it is important to help out I don't know all the thousands of people have come down and this is a holiday tradition for them and if they're not able to make it that kind of uh it's kind of a bummer so we got to help out if we can 
set up for Bentleyville doesn't happen overnight. Work usually gets underway in mid-September and runs through the end of October. More than a dozen semi-truck hauls in the event's display. Uh, there's also the big steel Christmas tree that needs to be set up, not to mention all the little huts set up across Bayfront Park. And this huge light show could not be made possible without all of the mm -hmm. hundreds of volunteers. Yeah, there are a couple new signups every year, and there are those who, that have been at it ever since it started. CBS 3's Leanne Valdez and photojournalist Blake Mellon have the story. With just a switch, people come from near and far to catch a glimpse of Bentleyville. Some visit once, others visit twice. But one special volunteer has been touring the lights since 09. I started volunteering here regularly the first year it was in Duluth. In 10 years, Danette Lynch has done it all. Cookie house, popcorn house, wherever it needed help. But her all-time favorite is checking up. Hey, you guys can go up. On who has been naughty or nice. My favorite jobs is Santa line and greeter. She helps keep the Santa line flow help keep many children's faces glow. In general life, it can be mundane, it can be sad, it can be irritating, it can be frustrating, but when you're down at Bentleyville, it's just to have fun. She's made special bonds every year that keeps her smiling from ear to ear. I've met a lot of friends and a lot of familiar faces, so when we start doing setup in the fall, it's like, hey, how you been? And She'll be back next year, ready to help spread that holiday cheer. I think Bentleyville is great because it provides some happiness and joy to people. That's its sole purpose. Well, a big thank you to everyone yeah. who volunteers here. Again, this could not be made possible without them. And if you're interested in volunteering, we have more info on our website, cbs3duluth.com. Yeah. There's a lot of work to be done down here, not Absolutely. only to set it up, but to also take it down. So yes. volunteers are needed. Speaking of Bentleyville, obviously we've been talking about that a lot. Do you know how many lights are down here? How, are we doing trivia again? We're not going to do okay. trivia <laughs> because all those answers are coming up. But have you ever wondered how many lights, yes. how many cookies are served? Hot chocolate, How stuff many like I that. Can eat, yeah. Maybe, yeah. Here's the answer to all those questions and more. No doubt, a lot of work goes into making Bentleyville happen. Here's a look at some of the stunning numbers that go into this extravagant event. There are more than five million lights on display here. Roughly six miles of rope lights. That's nearly enough to get from Canal Park to Thompson Hill. More than twelve thousand extension cords make all those lights happen. There's so many displays and so much equipment that 17 semi-trailers are used to store it all. That's on top of a dozen storage containers. And oh yeah, how about the free hot chocolate and cookies? More than 15,000 pounds of hot chocolate is handed out and 400,000 cookies. Oh yeah, and one really big tree. That massive steel tree stands at an impressive 128 feet tall and is adorned with more than 150,000 sparkling lights. That's all done to bring a little holiday joy to the nearly 300,000 people that come through the gates to take in this one-of-a-kind display. All right, we're joined now by the mayor of Bentleyville himself, Nathan Bentley. Thanks for joining us Thank tonight, you. Nathan. Yeah, so we were talking a little bit earlier about the effort of snow removal here after almost two feet of uh, snow fell on the Twin Ports. Talk to me about how you guys were able to cl clear all of that snow in just a short period of time and get back open after three days of having to be closed. Uh, you know, just wonderful support from a uh, couple of businesses in town. Uh, Titan Machinery got us a bulldozer okay. down here, and uh, Sunbelt got us some equipment down here and then with great volunteers that were able to operate that yeah. equipment, started clearing the lots, mm -hmm. getting uh, the pathways in here cleared. Okay. The public came out with their snow blowers and their snow shovels and just started going to town. Yeah, need a lot of volunteers. <laughs> we needed a lot of people. <laughs> so this is your 11th year here it at is. Bayfront Festival Park, but maybe what a lot of people don't necessarily know is Bentleyville predates the park here. Talk to me about where all this started, why it started. Uh, well, it pretty much just started because I was getting carried away with lights uh, okay. out on Highway 61 in Esco back in 2002, 2003. Okay. And um, then I moved out into the countryside out in uh, Solway Township. Just wanted to put up more lights for a uh, few people reason to come to my house. Yeah. And in a quick uh, four years, all of a sudden it was a uh, pretty sizable attraction. Yeah. 
took a year off, and the city of Duluth invited me to bring my light show down here okay. in 2009. Yeah. Real quick, 10, 15 seconds or so. It seems to get bigger every year, more people coming. What keeps you doing it? What is the drive to keep this light display going every year? You know, it's the great people. They're so appreciative when we do, when all of our volunteers and our group put this thing on every year, and people just come out and keep yeah. thanking us, and they're having a great time. They're making memories, yeah. so that's what keeps it going. Yeah. It's a beautiful display. Thanks for setting it up every year. You bet. All right. Nathan Bentley, everyone. Well, and Bentleyville isn't just fun for visitors. It's a local favorite for business owners as well. The tens of thousands of visitors that flock here every year all need places to stay and food to eat. So the month or so that display is open provides a big boom to the local economy. CBS 3's Alex Levy spoke to local business owners today and shares the impact that all these lights bring to the area. Alex, what would you learn? That's right, Tony and Kristen. I talked to business owners and they said that Bentleyville has stretched their busy season. They used to end after the leaves have fallen all the way through Christmas. They also said that Bentleyville has been the shining star. Uh, excuse me. Bentleyville has made many locals that live in the area come out to the uh, Canal Park area rather than staying home, as well as people as far away as the Dakotas. And they also have people that around a thousand people or thousands of people from the Twin Cities. And Tony Bronson, the director of business development from Grandma's, said that the impact that Bentleyville has had on his traffic doesn't go unnoticed. Bentleyville has been the shining star uh, in what used to be the dark, cold winter months for us. Uh, before Bentleyville, we kind of considered that season after the leaves fell and before the snow really fell to be as bad as it got around here. Uh, now, with Bentleyville, uh, the Bentleyville season has actually turned into one of the better seasons that we have throughout the year. And the only downside of this year's uh, event is the, the blizzard that impacted us this past weekend. And Bronson said he hopes the fact that Bentleyville is closed makes people eager to come out and see the lights. But with every negative comes a positive because out here today with all the snow around me, it is quite a beautiful sight and it feels much like Christmas and it's very nice to be out here tonight. All right. Thanks, Alex. Thanks, Alex. Still to come on Live Local, CBS3 will tell you how you can help out a good cause when you swing down to check out the lights. You're watching CBS3 News at 6, live from Bentleyville. Weather keep you home? Black Friday deals are back this Friday and Saturday from 9 to 9 at Home Furniture with bonus savings of $100 when you spend $9.99, $200 on $19.99, and a free game table when you spend $29.99 or more. Black Friday is back for two days only at Home Furniture. Make it the best holiday ever with the True Love Guarantee at Numi Jewelers. Dazzle her with a gift she's guaranteed to love. We're so sure she'll love the piece you choose that we'll even exchange it if she doesn't. True Love is guaranteed at Numi Jewelers. All of us at Super One Foods would like to say thank you. Thank you for shopping with us here each and every day and making it a joy to come to work. You've allowed us to give back to the local communities we serve for the past 40 years. Each year, we raise and donate hundreds of thousands of dollars in support to local charities and food shelves, youth organizations, and various athletic events. From all of us at Super One Foods, thank you. We're proud to serve you locally every day with low prices and better choices. On the economy, a unique leader, Mike Bloomberg's created over 400,000 jobs. As president, an opportunity economy that works for us. Tax fairness, where the wealthy pay their fair share. Education, affordable college and high-skill vocational training so people can succeed in the new economy. Economic security, lower-cost health care, and affordable middle-class housing. Proven leadership on jobs to build an economy where people don't just get by, they get ahead. I'm Mike Bloomberg, and I approve this message. Want to go treasure hunting this holiday season? With unique collectibles and whatnots perfect for your she shed or man cave, the Shabby Shed is the place for you. Browse, browse, browse. Each time you turn around, you see something new. Save 40% off at our bargain cave and find the perfect gift today. Just as you light up your favorite holiday decorations, we'll light up your season with Minnesota Ballet's The Nutcracker, December 13th through 15th at the deck. Glimmering snowflakes, a holiday party, Mother Ginger, a sugar plum fairy, Mouse King, waltzing flowers, and more. All with live Tchaikovsky music by the Minnesota Ballet Orchestra and Chorus. Get tickets now at the deck, Ticketmaster, and MinnesotaBallet.org. We thank our performance sponsor, National Bank of Commerce, season sponsor, Essentia Health, 
Christmas is now open with savings of 50% at Home Seasonal Concepts. Find a great selection of trees, wreaths, garland, and all your holiday decor needs. Save 50% on Christmas at Home Seasonal Concepts. Inside all home furniture showrooms. Calvin's Auto Repair Business could use a little help from his friends. Car or truck, you're in luck with the... Beep, beep. <laughs> Why don't you all go beep, beep yourselves, all right? New neighborhood, Ben. Oh, no, I'm here because I want to be with you. Oh, please, you're embarrassing me. You should leave. You're right, I should. <laughs> a new Bob Hearts have a show up after a new neighborhood, Monday on CBS. Welcome back to the CBS 3 News at 6, live from Bentleyville. The holiday cheer is just in the air. I know, I love the sound of that music. <laughs> Welcome back to our Bentleyville holiday special. So far, the weather has been pretty great for folks yeah. who are kicking off the weekend with a visit to the Bentleyville experience. Yeah, let's head on over to Dave Anderson. Dave, how are you keeping warm out there? <laughs> The word is layers, Anthony and Kristen. I have plenty of layers on, and it's working because temperatures are taking a bit of a tumble. Let's get into the map and take a look at the current regional temperatures around the area, and they're becoming a little bit on the chilly side, indeed, as cooler air comes to call. We're looking at temperatures uh, probably in the teens for a good part of the area and uh, into the 20s for other regions. Bottom line is a big cold snap will be coming by Tuesday, so after a chilly night tonight, temperatures will spike for the weekend and probably get up into the 30s. All right, the upper Midwest situation shows a departing low pressure system to our east and a little upper level trough of lower pressure, a short wave up in the upper atmosphere coming in. Neither very potent, but just enough lift to bring clouds tonight and a chance for some snow showers, probably not adding up to much. Let's go ahead and take a look at our snow estimate map for tonight and tomorrow, and it's going to show that... Uh, about a trace to an inch around the region so not a big deal this time around and that's a good thing too because yesterday my 1982 snow blowers drive gear turned into a hand grenade and so that's down for the count until a new part comes in and i'll probably need it frankly on monday that's when our next more substantial chance of snow comes to call so let's look at the forecast tonight in minnesota and that's calling for a gray sky clouds and uh, low temperatures generally from about 10 degrees inland to maybe upper teens right by the lake and so some towns have become a little bit cooler right now but as the clouds thicken temperatures may actually go up overnight low temps wisconsin michigan upper teens with a cloudier sky and a chance for flurries as well again by tomorrow morning maybe a trace to an inch then the forecast tomorrow for wisconsin and michigan is calling for a mostly cloudy sky and highs in the low 30s but it should be a dry day again this low pressure conglomeration coming through doesn't have that much punch to it so it won't be like getting punched with last week weekend's blizzard tomorrow in minnesota high temps about 29 to 32 now let's fire up the seven day forecast and it holds changes we are looking at a warm-up for saturday perhaps for sunday as well low 30s but then come monday there's a 70 percent chance for another three to six inches of snow the six is probably more likely towards the snow belt the three for the rest of us and then by tuesday arctic air comes to call December is here, Anthony and Kristen. A real December weather will be here with overnight low temps getting below zero and daytime high struggling to stay above at least for a couple of days. All right, thanks, Dave. Well, with the holiday season comes the spirit of giving. And this time of year is a big deal for the Salvation Army as its Red Kettle campaign and many other events raise money across the country, including right here at Bentleyville. Joining us now is Terry and Brian Ellison with the Salvation Army. Thank you so much for coming to chat with us tonight. Mm -hmm. So to talk a little bit about the partnership between the Salvation Army and Bentleyville. Sure. Well, <clears throat> Bentleyville is obviously very special, um, and it's special for a lot of reasons, but one of the biggest reasons is, is it's not just about the lights, it's about giving. So when people give, when they, when they come and they spend time here and they bring a gift or a, uh, a canned good, they can give. And so when they, they join with the Salvation Army, because then that money and, or that, those gifts come to us. And so it's just, it's not just the lights, it's, it's the giving. And how much of an impact does uh, Bentleyville have on the Salvation Army? 
Well, I'll take this one. So um, historically, we receive about 2,000 toys every year through the Bentleyville donations and about 15,000 pounds of food. And that helps with our, um, we, we uh, distribute food and toys to over um, 1,000 families here in Duluth. But the food and toys in Bentleyville serve seven different Salvation Army sites in the Northland. Wow, incredible. Um, just uh, lastly, uh, for folks who are thinking about coming down to Bentleyville, how can they help out the Salvation Army when they come here? Well, I think it goes without saying that when, when you bring a, a canned good or you bring a toy, um, you are able to give to the Salvation Army and you're able to, that, that same food or gift, goes right back out into the community it, it's it's a wonderful relationship a, a wonderful partnership that the Absolutely. army has with bentleyville thank you guys both so much for being here and thanks for all that you do thank you. don't thank go you. anywhere we'll be right back with kelly hinseth who's in with sports you're watching cbs3 news at six live from bentleyville don't be cold this winter get to the northland's winter clothing headquarters northwest outlet CBS3 Live Cams are brought to you by Kohler Toyota. Presidential award-winning service. You're not just getting a car, you're getting Kohler. KohlerToyota.com. I'm Bree. I'm a certified health coach here at Profile and have been in the Duluth location since we opened. As a coach, to make sure someone is successful, I tell my members I am there for anything and everything that they might need through this journey as far as support, education. I can do whatever they need. Voice command navigation with Waze. Wi-Fi. Wireless charging. 104 cubic feet of cargo room and seating for eight. Now that's a sleigh. Ford Expedition. Built for the holidays. During the Ford Built for the Holidays event, get over $10,000 in total savings on an expedition. Only at your Northland Ford dealers. In 2014, Mike missed out on a tax credit because he didn't get his health insurance through Mensure. He was sure he made too much money to qualify. He did it again the following year. And again. And again. And you get the picture. Every year, thousands of Minnesotans miss an exclusive tax credit through Mensure that averages over $5,500 a year. This year, be sure you're not one of them. Maybe I should go through Mensure this year. That is exactly right, Mike. My name is Edna. I am a mother. I am a grandmother. I am an archer. I hope that others who see me compete find something they can do so they can maintain a healthy body and a healthy mind. The holiday season is truly the most wonderful time of the year. It's the perfect time to explore Duluth's beautiful downtown waterfront district. Enjoy our lights and sights of the season, local shops, restaurants, and entertainment. Duluth's Greater Downtown Council invites you to experience our city anew. Come downtown to find the perfect gift, enjoy a delicious meal, and reconnect with family and friends. Shop, dine, and celebrate together in Duluth's downtown waterfront district this holiday season. We really needed to update our bathroom. But we thought it would be expensive. Not to mention the mess and horror stories we heard from our neighbors. So we called Bath Planet. They came to our home on time and designed a beautiful custom solution for us. Our new bathroom was installed in just one day. And they left no mess. Bath Planet is backed by the Good Housekeeping Seal. So if you want a great bathroom and great service. That's affordable. Call Bath Planet today. Call 218-228-0435. The coaching has helped me be successful by having someone that is my cheerleader for me when I don't feel like I'm cheering for myself. They help me get up when I'm feeling down and they help me get back on track every time. So, Welcome back to the CBS 3 News at 6, live from Bentleyville. Welcome back into Bayfront Festival Park for our live Bentleyville special. And as we mentioned, the whole team is here. So mm -hmm. let's check in now with Kelly, who's having some fun while keeping track of sports. Hey, Kelly. 
Hey guys, well, we're talking UMD hockey tonight. They are in action down in Omaha, Nebraska. Both games you can catch on My9 Sports. And certainly for the Bulldogs, all they want for Christmas is to rebound from last year's ser- last week's series rather against Mankato when they got swept for the first time at home this season. The Bulldogs have had the Mavericks of Omaha's number as of late last season. UMD won all four contests against Omaha, including a series sweep in the NCHC playoffs in March. UMD also leads the all-time series with a 21-11-3 record. Head coach Scott Sandlin says the Mavericks are much improved this year, however, and he's expecting a close series this time around. Just watched some tape on them, and obviously they've got really good team speed, and they've improved a lot. Uh, I think their goaltending is better than it's been. I think uh, they've got, uh, again, some some talented forwards. they got a couple freshmen that are playing well, and, and uh, their back end is a little bit older, and um, again, it'll be it'll it'll be a battle. Uh, it's it's back to our league, and you know, right now I'm more concerned about how we need to play than what they're going to do. As for the UMD women's hockey team, they are on the road as well. And at the top of their Christmas list would be a sweep against the number one team in the country, which would be the Wisconsin Badgers. The UMD women's hockey team is on to Wisconsin this weekend for another test with the number one team. Wisconsin recently surpassed Minnesota in the polls to reclaim the top spot. The defending national champions lose a couple key pieces, including the Patty Kazmir Award winner Annie Pankowski, but they had no problem reloading. UMD head coach Moore Curl says there are a lot of different things that make Wisconsin a dangerous squad. One of them, those things that she highlighted this past week was how solid of a work ethic the Badgers have. I think Wisconsin is always going to be um, dynamic at Lebon. I think they work extremely hard, which is something that you might not expect from a, a number one team in a country. They, they work hard all the time, and that's what makes them so good. So we're going to have to match that. And I think structurally and system-wise, they're probably doing a lot of the same things that they've done in the past, just with new personnel. Puck drop for both UMD teams is at 7.07 p.m. Again, UMD men's hockey will be on My9 Sports in just a few minutes. And finally, the 43rd annual Spirit of Duluth tournament is being held this weekend, starting tonight, ending with the championship games on Saturday all across Duluth teams, playing a round-robin format with a number of levels for boys hockey. So we got hockey on hockey on hockey this this weekend. And again, tune into My9 Sports in just a few minutes for puck drop against UMD and Omaha. For now, Tony and Kristen going to send it back to you. All right. Thanks, Kelly. Well, Tony, what a great show. Yeah. What a better place to yeah. spend your Friday night than here at mm-hmm. Bentleyville. Talk about a lot of fun, and there's so much to do down here. It's so beautiful. If you've never been here, I'd really recommend coming. There's five million lights to look at down here. It's incredible. Yeah. It really is. The Christmas tree is probably one of my favorite mm-hmm. uh, things about it. Santa Claus is here as yeah. well. Hot I saw some reindeer. Lots yeah. to do. Lots yeah. to do. <laughs> so thank you so much for joining us tonight. It was really a uh, uh, Got me in the holiday spirit, that's for sure. Yeah, we'll see you back uh, in studio at 10 o'clock tonight. You're watching CBS 3 News at 6, live from Bentleyville.